What happens then is when we're talking about your ability to do three metronomic steps, detect, decode, objectify. And here's why it's not 100% accurate, because you're detecting an eight-dimensional hyperspace. In the moment that you're doing this, you are detecting. Can you go backwards to a, to a moment that was part of the collective existence that is now back? At, once it comes through that moment, once it's in and out of the moment as a collective experience, and everybody has a collective experience, See, like going back to this thing, right? Even when it strikes ice, you're looking at the experience in an event arc of time of seven people, but there were nearly 2,000 people there. Right. Every one of them have their own version of this event arc right, of time, right? right. <clears throat> so once that moves out of there, once it's out of the experience, and it's now back into the infinite field of potentials, it's in the past, we say, but it's really just into an infinite field of potentials. Can you go back to it? Yes. If you go back to it, uh, is it 100% like what it was when you experienced it? No, never. Conceptual illusion, right? Right, right. Plus, right. it's got a, a collective interpretation and reinterpretation. Mm. If it was something that affected that many people. So, it's a bizarre idea. But now, let's say I wanted to send you okay. <clears throat> as a remote viewer to 1140 a.m. on that date to see the RMS Titanic strike ice. Okay. My concept of the target is strikes ice. The mil the moment, the very moment that steel strikes ice. All the shit leading up to it and all the shit after it, you will start to you'll start to be able to pull that out to detect it, decode it and objectify it. But my concept is a very pinpoint moment in time when something happened and that's what i set as the coordinates for you so if i do that and i lock that down you you actually as a program manager you write that down uh, you know target concept is rms titanic striking ice and you can elaborate it steel strikes ice at this time on this date okay okay <clears throat> if i'm thinking about the whole arc do we have to know where do we have to know <clears throat> location no. Okay. No, no, no. Okay. You, if, if, if your intention is to, I, you want to know more, right? You want to get, you want, you want to, want a hundred, you, you look, get a hundred different interpretations. <laughs> you want a hundred different event arcs of time. You see how Got it. rich that becomes now? Yep. Right? Yep. So when you, when you do this and you lock down that event, this is what I'm after. Then you assign two sets of, of four numbers and you have to be really good at this if you fuck this up the whole group or class or group of remote viewers if your mind wanders like you're going okay rms titanic 1040 and it's like i wonder if burger king is still open right <laughs> now you know i'm i think maybe ribs tonight or, you know mm -hmm. if you start doing that what will happen is now you've skewed the intention the concept of the target and some of them will get it, and some of them will just bounce off and go where the fuck ever. And it happens, and it's happened. I've, I've watched it happen in class where I've like given this responsibility to somebody who probably shouldn't have had it, and or I gave it to somebody I trusted, but that person had to go to the bathroom, so they give it to somebody else to do, who's part of my staff but that person's not ready to do it. And that person you know, goes like, uh, RMS Titanic. And you know, yeah, when I get out of here, I'm going to go get a salad. And, and they put the coordinates down and it's not a hard connect on a concept of the target. Do you follow? It's not a hard connect. Right. Okay. It needs to be a hard connect. Okay. And the harder you can connect it and the better trained you are at connecting it in that way, the better the target results will be from the remote viewers. If you skew, if you're thinking something else, or you can't hold that thought when you assign those coordinates, the, the viewers will skew. There will be less quality data. But what do you mean when you say assign coordinates? We said two sets of four numbers. Right. Okay, so now, they're ran it used to be called random numbers. They don't have to be random. You could say... You could say, you know, 
two, zero, two, three. That's the first four. And then you could say uh, zero, nine, zero, one. Now, I teach always that the last number is a one. It doesn't have to be, but I teach it that way because as a coordinate remote viewer, when you come off of that, la off that one, you have to respond autonomically with what's called an ideogram. An ideogram is the first graphic representation of the target site. And it falls into a certain set of, of, of category of stuff that you're going to work on. This is, I mean, I don't want to confuse everybody about it, but it, it, you know, it's either going to be land, water, land, water interface. It's going to be mountain. It's going to be a structure or it's going to be right. Okay. It's these, these things. So that's not what you want your audience to be thinking about. It's just that that's why there's a one there. Mm -hmm. So you could say two, zero, two, three, just so you could make sure that if for your records, you could know that this class or this group of remote viewers on 2023 did this target and 09 being September, they did it on September and the 01 doesn't matter. It, it, that that part, you're not trying to lock down the day, okay. right? The, the viewers are trained to put down the, the, the date and the time of they start and the time that they end the session and all that stuff on there anyway, right? And their name declaring personal inclemencies, declaring advanced visual stuff. I'm just telling you, that's how the coordinates work. Okay. So the detect, the code, and objectify simply defined are this. Detecting is, again, altered brainwave state, alpha brainwave state, and you have a piece of paper in front of you in coordinate remote viewing. You've taken the coordinates, responded autonomic, you've decoded the ideogram into its ABC components, don't ask. You don't want to go there. Right? Okay. And then you're going to start into stage two. Colors, textures, temperatures, tastes, sounds, smells, dim dimensionals, okay. et cetera, right? Okay. Contours. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so your pin's going on the paper and you're closing your eyes and you're, what are the colors? Now, that is a detecting and as that waveform expression, right? omnipresent you're not projecting there it's all around you so all you're doing now is based on the address based on the address you've been given which are the two sets of four numbers and the concept of everything we're talking about here now all you're doing is prompting yourself okay what what, what colors and as colors come to you that's called detecting and decoding now the detecting is eight dimensional hyperspace. It's done with the unconscious mind. The decoding is when at the speed of thought, your conscious mind decodes it into four dimensional lexicon. Time, height, width, depth. It decodes it into four dimensional lexicon. So, oh, well, it's, uh, it's, it's purple or it's blue, or it's red, or it's chartreuse, or it's, uh, it's no color, white, so, or it's, it's empty, or it's this, or oh, it's tall, or mm -hmm. it's thick, or it's long, or it's, it's bumpled, it's, uh, you know, whatever. The all, as you keep going through these things, you're detecting, you're decoding it into the four-dimensional lexicon, and then you objectify. The objectify, objectification means you're sketching it on a piece of paper. You're putting the verbal sensory data in accordance with the structure that you're right. taught in stage okay. two or stage three or stage four or stage five or stage six, right? You're, that's what you're doing. Detect, decode, objectify. Now, why is it not 100% accurate and why will it never be 100% accurate and why are you never going to win the lottery as a remote <laughs> and why should you never give somebody to invest your money who claims that they've got a hedge fund that they use remote viewing to determine, you know, where to put the money? And because it not first of all it's just bullshit but second of all it, it's impossible it's a human interpretation right it's a human interpretation to detect that's the purest it comes but your brain your conscious mind right it it has to assimilate it into something that means something in this four-dimensional world so it take it calls upon 
its references. It calls upon your lexicon, what you've experienced, what you've done, what you've seen, what you've read, what you've heard, right? What you've touched, what you've smelled, what you've tasted, what you've felt, what you, all these things. And it goes, it does it that fast, faster. If you don't have never experienced it, your conscious mind will struggle for a millisecond and then it will call upon the 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 best matching experience that it can so if you don't know what it's like if you don't know what it's like to be on the bottom of the atlantic of the north atlantic you have no idea about the darkness the pressure the mm -hmm. you have no reference for it your conscious mind will come up with a, a match it'll oh it'll, wow it'll come up with something close to it something you've experienced. like dark right okay. uh you know uh, chilly uh you know hard mm. to breathe uh blah 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 you that's what it does got it okay. that's what viewers are constantly working with and then by the time you take that and then objectify it on the paper like you're trying to sketch something at some aspect of it mm -hmm. you're trying to sketch energetics or you're trying to sketch pressure Right? How do you sketch pressure? Right. How, how do you, or you're just trying to write it down, but mm -hmm. you have no idea what it feels like at, I mean, most people have no idea what it feels like at one atmosphere, you know, mm -hmm. to be 33 feet right. and, and understand what the pressure differential is and how that feels. Or two atmospheres or three atmospheres, they have no reference for it. So they struggle with how to explain some of the things that they're experiencing. <laughs>